Hey, so part two left off Johnny basically cutting and pasting a whole lot of stuff from Google and me basically sending the source back to him, which he was just ignoring because he was in a haze of love bombing. And I just finished telling him to stop it. Oh my God, can't you have a real conversation? Every word I say to you comes from the deepest part of my heart, he said. I said, and Google, talk normally, please. No long soliloquy. It's tedious and nobody talks that way. We went through this like two days ago and you agreed. Oh my God, babe, you're smart, gorgeous and beautiful inside and outside, he said. I said, thank you. I'm certainly smarter than some. You're welcome. Just as the sun and moon are destined to rise and shine, I am destined to be with you for the rest of our life. Yes, I see that, babe. You are really smart and intelligent. (laughs) And he just can't help himself. You are the fulfillment for me. You make me unspeakably happy. That's why I want to be always there for you, to stand by you and fight for you, baby. I said, oh, dear God, just stop with the rubbish. If you can't speak normally, I'll speak gibberish also. Do I need to Google everything you write to prove it's gibberish? You are the most boring man I've ever spoken with. I told you, have a conversation. And again, I cut and paste what he said, found it on Google and sent it to him. Wow, babe, that's so mean, said Johnny. Okay, he said. I like how you do express how you feel most times. Babe, I want to be better for you. If there is anything I'm not doing right, you tell me. And also, I will tell you when it's you not doing right. This is what life is all about. So let's not hide our emotions for each other. There is no remedy for love but to love more. Love heart, love heart. I said, so stop Googling nonsensical rubbish online and posting stupid declarations of love when you won't even speak with me on the phone. It's idiotic and I don't believe you. It's almost 11.30 over there. Shouldn't you be in bed? Not ready to sleep yet, he said. Babe, I'm still at the living room watching the news and writing to you. What's your favourite movie of me? (laughs) He said. I said, are you vain? Do you need your ego stroked? I can't stand a conceited man. Sweeney Todd wasn't bad. Ah, yes, it's after midnight where you are. Sleep time. Oh, mine. I'm so sorry, babe. I doozed up on my phone. (laughs) I said, no worries. How was your day at work today? Are you home now? I said, yes, I'm home. Stopped to grab a drink with some colleagues and now I'm cooking dinner. And before you ask, chicken Kiev and chips. Oh, really? I know any food prepared by you would taste so delicious. I just had my coffee and some sandwiches also. I said, thanks, but I'm not a good cook. I don't much enjoy it, but I guess it has to be done. You're having sandwiches for breakfast? Yeah, and it tastes good, he said. I said, oh, that's the main thing. You are very unique in your own way. You like intelligent company, but interesting chats. Your heart is huge, although you and you try your best to hide it. I said, I like intelligent company and intel- interesting chats. Your intelligence and passions are so attractive to me. How long have you been a fan of me? He said. I said, I think you already asked, but in case you didn't, I really don't know. I saw you in Nightmare and then on on and off in various films. Kind of forgot about you until the trial, to be honest, because you hadn't done anything for a while at that stage. Yes, babe. You know, I was never really valued in my past relationships. I cried and endured so much. Sometimes these people online don't even know anything about me and try to put a false news. Our fake Johnny Depp went on. I said, all your exes spoke up for you in your trial. They're all your friends except Amber. And the trial was aired live and I watched every second of it. That's why you won. That's true, babe. You know, hearing all this from you brings smile to my face. There is nothing more amazing than having people who still believe in the good in you. I'm honoured and blessed I found you, babe, because your kind is very rare to find. You are one of the best thing that has ever happened to me, dot, dot, dot. I said, that's nice. When will you call me? On the phone is fine. 
I want to hear your voice saying all those lovely things out loud. You know what I will request, that the encryptions to be taken off from my device by my management so that way I can be able to call you via video call to say so many lovely words to you. Love heart, love heart. Oh dear God, this guy. I said, okay, audio call is fine. Happy to just hear your voice. Don't need to see you if it's too much trouble. I'll call you, in fact. Just say when. Okay, babe, but I need to get this encryption off my device first. You know, due to the last time when my device was hacked, my management had to put some security measures in place to avoid future occurrence. What are you putting on at the moment, my love? <laughs> and when I ignored him, oh, baby, are you there? Lots of love hearts. So I decided to ignore him for a little bit because, frankly, I was bored shitless. It's just after 3 a.m. here and I just got up. When did your devices get hacked? It's been about seven months. Management, some hackers gain access into device and were sending random messages to my contacts. I had to report the issue to my Hollywood management so something could about it. He said so, totally nonsensically, to which I replied, okay, how was your night, my baby? Good, I think, I said. I was asleep. Coming up, on to the next part. Bye.